we started this vlog with some protein. We got ghost Oreo. Just gonna do one scoop today. Turn it off. We are getting ready to do a podcast with TG for episode seven. Behind the scenes of the influencer. Where's my tripod? Hey, the, the fade looking fresh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm to yeah, tripod. The way. tripod's right here. Ugh. Can you see the brick and socks? Yes, sir. We're running it like this. We're not running it off like a normal podcast, but got my protein. All right. Let's get started. All right. <laughs> the boy got the fresh fade. Yeah, today? my barber blessed me today. <laughs> the, boy's stopped, the boy's making content all day because he has a fresh get paid. Yeah. Because it only lasts me like a day. Fresh fade. Not even. <laughs> if you growing in, right? It, it be growing in, yeah. What is straight it? out of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> it grows straight out of the chair. All right. So, TG and CB on the podcast today. Episode 7, cut season. What's up, YouTube? What? Oh, so let's introduce our special guest here. Alright, so I'm TG, as he said. Also known as Rico. We'll get into that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most people call me Rico, though. Alright, so. Alright, we gotta let the people know how did we meet. We Didn't we meet at, at Piccolo? Yeah, we, so we met at, what, 2020? Was it 2020? I don't know the exact year. It's, yeah, probably, I think it was it's probably been a good three years at least. Yeah, it's been. It's been it's been a few years now. Because I was, I was working at uh, the front desk at this new gym that opened up in Vegas called Fit Club. I was working the front desk, people coming in and out. A lot of people weren't really my age until I met uh, Rico at the gym wearing the flannels on the Stairmaster, <laughs> I remember. Boy, it was shredded. But yeah, I was like, everybody was older than me, so I really couldn't connect. And I was like kind of doing content and stuff. And then I kind of saw you doing your content and doing like things. And then I was like, oh, let me approach this guy and kind of talk to him. And yeah, I mean, so then we just started chatting. Yeah, it's kind of where it started, where I was trying to push content more. Because I was shredded at the time. I don't know why, but I was like super shredded. It was way smaller back then. But like same thing with him, like he was saying, there wasn't a lot of people like around our age. And then I noticed him being around my age, and that's kind of what gravitated me. Yeah. And led like to us meeting. And we kind of just started, yeah. And then we just started chatting and connecting more. And there was a few times where we went out to get like sushi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. <sighs> All right. And then yeah, and then so that it's been what yeah, it's been three years. We kind of grew, the, you know, our friendship. And then, you know, he became my best friend. It's probably been more than three years, shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. now. Now, yeah. 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 Like we just kind of just gradually they became closer friends. And then that's when we kind of decided that, you know, because we're kind of at the same stage in our life. And then that's when we kind of wanted to venture out on our own. And, uh, yeah, that's when we got the apartment last year, 2020, beginning of 2023. What would you say, like, is, what would you say, like, is your number one tip? For since you know me doing my cut, what's like your, a number one tip that you recommend for people when they're cutting down? I think the best way to go about it is is diet. But so. then, like sometimes it's not all about diet because then some people have more more of an appetite than others. So like you also need to do cardio. Cardio very important. Yeah. Like, do you recommend like someone that's just starting out? Let's say there's their first year cutting. You recommend for their diet to be more macro based or to be more just focusing on getting the meals in every day. 
if you're able to calorie count, I'd say that's the best way to go about it. At mm. the same time, you're counting your macros, counting your calories. That would be the way, best way to go about it because you know exactly how much and like and uh, calories you're putting into your body. Because to lose weight, you have to be in a calorie deficit. So either you can be in a calorie deficit either by eating less or doing more cardio. So it's like calories in, calories out. Yeah, so it's I mean, either you're eating less. That's how. Yeah, or, that's how I usually do it. I use you use cardio as a tool to get yourself to that calorie deficit. You're still focusing on getting your your meals in, your carbs, your fats, your proteins, making sure you're hitting the point that you need to hit, but then you use that that cardio to kind of help you get down and cut and get all that water weight off. Yeah, so if you like to eat, then cardio is going to be your best friend. Yes, best friend. High intensity, low intensity, just get your cardio done. Yeah, the cardio doesn't really matter. What matters, I mean, is well, the intensity to it. An extent, just depending on like your recovery. Would you say your favorite? Would you say running is probably your favorite cardio right now? Right now, yes, but at the same time, you have to be careful with it because then it starts affecting like your leg days, like because you. <laughs> oh, so you gotta be like, Especially if you run on like like outside. Get like you get you some pump. good running shoes if you. Yeah, ready. for sure. Yeah, the running shoes. That's what I need to do. I have some old ones. I gotta start investing in some. Oh, they're expensive, man. How much you spent? You spent for yours? I bought two pairs of running shoes now. Damn, I'll probably spend over like four hundred dollars on running shoes now. <laughs> Dude, they're like the <laughs> Nike ones. They're like two sixty. The ones you got. Uh, well, I mean, you, any really, really any brand. Like if you're, yeah, they're true. good Asics, running shoes. Yeah, Asics are expensive. You're gonna spend like close to two hundred bucks at least on like some good ones. Asics, Ace. No, well, there's Asics. There's like Huko or how do you say? Hukka? Hocus. Hocus. The Hocus. Hocus. <laughs> Those are really popular right now. For people that run. What else is there? I mean, Adidas, but I don't really fuck with Adidas. Yeah, Adidas has some. Uh, there's the... Uh... What's that one brand that I'm forgetting right now? Damn. Oh, the... Is it Cloud? Cloud Tech or something? The On Cloud, I think that's the brand. On, that, it's the, called On Cloud? I think it's called On Cloud or something like that, yeah. There's that, and then there's the... There's a few others, like, like, like Brooks. Brooks, yeah, yeah. That's the one I was kind of thinking of. Okay, so... Obviously, we've been asked... And people want to know where TG and CV comes from. <laughs> well, the so, way that I, that I put what is that, What does Drake say? It's my alter ego. <laughs> it's my alter ego, yeah, exactly. That's basically what it is. It's uh, our alter please. ego. Toxic gentleman and city boy, our alter ego. And it's not really something like we just like came up on ourselves. It kind of, it's almost like, it's just the way it is. Like, it's an alter, it's an alter ego. Yeah. When we go out, we're outside. <laughs> when we go outside, <laughs> Shit. What, it's, it's becoming less and less now. Yeah, I know. It's it's crazy how it's like we we last year we like moved out. We're like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be outside. <laughs> yeah, we actually did. I feel inside. like I feel like it was less and it just gets less and less and less. But it's because you know we're we're focused on other things, and we we're not one, we're not ones to like just go out to just go out. You know, if we're gonna go out, you know, so we're certain occasion and we're and then even less with drinking like we're only drinking for like right now i'm not even drinking for the next you know i've been sober since november so. <laughs> uh <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks for me now but i mean this we're but this year we're kind of focused on being we want to be outside but we want to do like more activity stuff you know like Go karting or ATVs, um, traveling. New more. experiences. We want to have new experiences. Yeah, like, we don't want to be in the club. So, I can be toxic, but I could also be a gentleman. Sometimes you get more of one or the other. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. At this point, uh, so for uh, for me, CB is more of like. I don't know. It's the more savage in me. I feel like like the not giving a fuck and just like. Doing what I want, basically, is what City Boy is. I'm toxic, but I'm, I'm probably not as toxic as he is. That's because I'm a nice but I'm guy. Not, but I'm not as nice as he is. I'm a nice guy, but at the same time, like, you know, you have, like, I have intrusive thoughts, so then I'm just like, I'm, I'm nice, but then I also have these other thoughts, and I'm just like. <laughs> it's like, 
it's like he puts in like in different scenarios and how you know how like like they would play out like a different scenario and, like, it's like one side of me cares and then the other side doesn't so it's like that's why i'm like nice but then at the same time i'm an asshole <laughs> so it's just it can't be one or the other it gets because. him in trouble just know this yeah this is why i'm an inside boy what's our biggest icks in girls oh shit you go first i don't know if i should go first man i feel like I, I have get, a lot. But. I get icks for like any little thing, really. <laughs> and, and like, I don't even mean to be judgmental or anything. It's just like, I notice a lot of things. No, yeah. Just because. I mean, you have a preference. The way it, that I see it is like, I, I carry myself and I have like respect for myself to have a level of like, <clears throat> to what my appearance or like, like everything that goes with that. Like, probably one of my biggest icks is probably somebody that doesn't care about their appearance or is just like... Yeah, doesn't take care of themselves. Yeah, it's probably one of my biggest, like, someone that doesn't take care of themselves. It's like, if I take care of myself more than you, that's a red flag, that's an ick. It's like, you always have to be presentable. It's just like, that's the way, just the way I was raised. I was like... Yeah. Yeah, I mean... It's like that, I feel like that's not kind of like ladylike to not be taking care of yourself, you know, making sure you're feeling your best, looking your best. And then I would say also like, can't dress. If you can't dress, that's just, that's ick for me. I can't. <laughs> I mean, for I can't. me, that's, that's, that's okay to an extent. I can't. If you can't dress, I mean, that's fixable. Or it's like, or like your language, like if you're like, Oh, I hate somebody that doesn't have manners. Yeah, manners, or you're like saying bro the damn time. Like you're one, like I a big ick to me is also like when she when she talks like she's one of the bros. I'm just like, <laughs> or she thinks she's one of the bros. It's like, girl, what are you doing? I don't know. I mean, sorry, not sorry, but a big ick for me is if you vape. That's, I, that's facts. That's facts. I don't like that. They'd be like, like they'd be acting like a fiend to it, bro. I hate it's like, that. It's like, I, I ignore it, but it's just like, I don't like it. It's almost, it seems like, I still question the reason why people do it. It almost seems just like, people just do it for the fuck of it. That's I get true. there's like a slight addiction or something for like, like the nicotine or whatnot, but it's just like, some people can't live without it. Yeah, I don't like it for sure. It's like, some people like, will get it straight out of work, they're already like, fucking hitting that shit. <laughs> gonna be what would you say is your 2024 goal i think my biggest goal for this year is definitely pushing content just because of how big social media is yeah, it's, it's like just getting bigger and bigger like the same energy that i put into like working out and like progressing in the gym like i want to put that same energy into that and also putting out like quality yeah. content so what, that's what a which um, format are you focusing on? Which media or platform? What platform are you focusing on? Mostly TikTok, because I feel like TikTok does, does the best. But also uh, Instagram, Reels. I so I'm just trying to get to the point where I'm being more consistent with it. But at the same time, I care a lot about the quality. So not just posting to post, but like also having that quality. That's one of my major goals besides progressing in the gym and running. Making more money. Bettering myself like in everything. No. It's like finding more sources of income. Investing yeah. more. Yeah, that's my number one goal this year is money obviously and then making the right investments. Putting my money in the right investments, the right spots, set ourselves up for the future. Yeah, once we have more income. Then we'll have and it just gets the, the ball rolling. availability to do even more. And travel more. We gotta definitely travel more this year. Definitely experience more this year. Because last year we were inside a lot. Alright, that is it for this episode, this vlog. We didn't have really much content this week, so I'm like, let's just hop on a podcast real quick and just talk, just chat about different topics. We'll definitely do a lot. A more detailed and longer one in the future. 
this was just something we just thought of on the on the spot basically i was like i needed some content for this week's episode <laughs> and i really have been doing much i've been doing kind of like the same old same old and i've been training at dre so it's it's kind of just been i feel like boring so i, I haven't had, really had time to like do anything but i mean I'm, i've just been doing cardio i've been upping my cardio to 30 minutes four days now so and we're at 158 i'm waiting 158.2 this morning so we're getting there we got 59 days left yeah 59 days left of this cut so yeah we'll see you in the next episode want to say anything before we let them go so people and you want to add uh mr tg over here on social media i'll put all his um all his social media things right here and then yes. down in the description if you guys want to give him a follow it'll be posting a lot so <laughs> yeah your boy keep him accountable yeah all right guys we'll see you guys in the next episode remember anything and everything do with confidence Peace. Peace.